Coming up next, it's the showdown the world has been waiting for. Brandon Vera, the heavyweight champ, drops down to light heavyweight to challenge Ong Lan Sang for Ong Lan's light heavyweight world title. Two powerhouses collide. Myanmar and the Philippines go at it. Heavyweight champion of the world, Brandon Vera, comes in tonight as the challenger. Legendary speed, power and precision at heavyweight. He says he'll be faster, stronger and even more precise at light heavy. It's been a dream of his to become a two division world champion for 15 years. Does the dream get realized tonight in Tokyo. They call Brandon Vera the truth. When I grew up as a little brown boy on the East Coast in the South, I knew what racism was. I grew up in racism. I've been called every single name that you could possibly think of. Things are a lot different now. What I had to put up with would probably break 95% of adults today. But I think it's forged me into who I am today. The Philippines just always felt like home. I've always wanted to make that connection between martial arts and the Philippines, representing the Philippines through martial arts, and I've always wanted to be able to do it in Asia, I want to make sure that I'm giving back to the Philippines and make sure that I can help. That's what I want for the Philippines. Especially because Ang Lan Song is known for his forward pressure. I mean, Brandon Vera has been a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt for a very long time. He has a legit ground pedigree, but he doesn't need it. Things never go to the ground with him because he's knocking everybody out in the very first minute. But Brent, but Ang Lan Song is going to test him in the stand up and see truly what the truth is made of here in one championship. Vera has never gotten beyond the first round in his one championship career. 4 0, four first round finishes, combined circle time in one, only eight minutes and 45 seconds for Brandon Vera. He is so quick. Let's go! The Myanmar national hero. The equivalent of Maradona in Argentina. Gretzky in Canada. Pelé in Brazil. Federer in Switzerland. Tenduka in India. 
It's Onglan Sang in Myanmar. They turned out in force tonight, the Burmese, to support their first and only world champion of any sport. And more than that, he's a two-division world champion. Onglan Sang truly is a slice of martial art history. Hey. Hey. When you're pursuing a, a big goal, like myself, you have to, first of all, grind. I thought I was only like a year or so away from you know, reaching my goal. Uh, in actuality, I was at least six or seven years away from my goal. You have to be willing to endure financial hardship, physical uh, hardship, and then social hardship. You take it year by year, you take it you know, month by month, you take it day by day, and eventually you'll get there. My goal is to become the most dominant champion in one championship. I want to put on exciting bouts for my fans, and I want to make Myanmar proud. of Malaysia and Rosenberg Rossetti of the Philippines. Tokyo! Here we go! Introducing first out of the blue corner, 
He stands at 191 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 16 wins and 7 losses. Training out of Alliance Training Center, representing the Philippines. Put your hands together for the one heavyweight world champion, Brendan the Truth Vera. Introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he stands at 185 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 25 wins and 10 losses. Training out of Hard Knocks 365, representing Myanmar. He is the reigning and defending one light. Heavyweight World Champion, the Burmese Python, Allah and Sam. <laughs> Having the match in the games, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. For head butt, low blow, back of the head, and spinal when a clear fight. All instructions from referee, the box, Olivier Cup. I've been commentating in Japan since 2001, and I've never heard a crowd as loud as this. Brandon Vera has never gotten beyond the first round in his one career. Four and oh, four first round finishes. On loan, son of 92% finishing rate. Finished his last five opponents, including three in the first round. He'll look for the steel pipe, he calls it, the right hand. And look for the fadeaway lead hook of Brandon Vera. Vera has the size over the left. Vera may have the power in the hand. Vera will have the speed. I've been training you. Sometimes I'm about to have the kicks. He's got beautiful foot techniques. He pay very close attention to what he's doing with his legs. On one catch on the play background for the National Martial Arts of Myanmar. They have turned out in force tonight. Myanmar flags are flying, so too Filipino flags for Brandon Vera. Now he has to get a from Vera off the back leg. Double something into Vera. Power salvo early from the legs of the troop. Body shot, belly button through the back from Online Sun. Outside low kick from Online. Checks the low kick to Brandon. On that fight. Wants to throw the steel pipe. Throws the steel pipe! Looks for the gap to hook. Try for the Montai clinch there. Did Brandon Vera. Vera switches. Vera in southpaw starts there. The left hand's now the power hand. On my edging forward. Roundhouse kick scooped away by Vera. Scooped away by Ongla. Body shots. Looping left hand there from Ongla. Cracking out suddenly. Kick from Ongla on side. Tremendous power from both these men. Spinning hook kick from Ongla. Brandon Bear's going to work on those leg techniques. He knows that Ongla and Son wants to come in with the kicks. Brandon Bear is looking to counter. Ongla fights. Gets out of the way of the long-reaching left hand. It's orthodox starts now for Vera. He circles on Captain Clockwise. Back to set the circle. Both men trade hooks. You can hear the entire left side of the stadium is absolutely quiet while the right side is just pulsing the energy. High kick there from Onla. Brandon throws the jab. Counter jab again. And Ronson picks him with the jab coming in. Omar dances forward, left hook to right hand, looks for a fight away, hook up the right there with Brandon Vera. This is already Brandon Vera's longest match in the championship. Brandon Vera had only been in the circle, 65 seconds, 6-2 down from some point. And now he threw that to Omar, now they're in the front booth. Man's a few elbows inside that clinch. Nice hand combination for by Omar and Song. Brandon said he wanted Omar on a 
phone booth. He welcomed it in. He gave him the dime to make the phone call on the inside. We talked a lot about the counter striking coming from Brandon Vera, but Ulan Sun is not paying any attention to it. He has no fear marching forward, throwing big shots. setting up, you can see the way kind of uh, Alain Song protects the body. I like to see Brandon Vera fake the body kick over the head punch. The big question tonight was what would happen if Alain tests the jaw of Vera. No one in one championship is yet to cleanly hit the jaw of Brandon Vera, but Alain's got the steel pipe. Can he land it? Goes for the head maker. The overhead right. Barely misses that shot. Brandon Vera was just able to get his hand up in time. Ooh, Brandon Vera steps inside with the uppercut elbow. 45 seconds to go in the first round. I like the leg kicks. A magnificent opener. I like the leg kicks coming from Unlaw and Sung. He's got to do more of that. Slow down that movement. Slow down that constant stance switch is coming from Brandon Vera. Brandon back to shot first time. Nice. Gets out of the round kick. Back to center circle. This crowd rabbit in Tokyo. They are loving every moment of it. The main events of one century. There's some of those body kicks are getting through, Michael. You can hear that thud like a baseball bat cracking. Vera circles off to his right, drifting away from the power side of Ongla, away from the steel pipe. Ongla fakes it. There's the drift away hook, and there's a lead hook from Brandon. Ongla smiles at and we go to the towels at the end of one. Folks, don't forget to follow us across all your social media platforms at One Championship on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Look at this. Brandon Vera rushes forward, barely misses with a knee, but a beautifully timed elbow inside the clinch landed by Brandon Vera. Oh, and the knee just barely grazes the jaw of Online Song. I like how Online Song's moving forward, though. I like how he changes stances. He comes in with that big right hand. He's in southpaw stance. I'd like to see him keep going with it. Man, you can hear the whole hush kind of fall over this crowd on that one side. You can hear Martin Nguyen in the corner. Mitch, how about this? Ongla standing between rounds. Brandon Vera took a seat. You read anything into that? Brandon Vera's a veteran. He knows how to recover, but this is the first time he's been into the sixth minute of a match. This is a, the whole uncharted territory. Brandon Vera hasn't been in the second round of a match since 2013. More than six years ago. Brandon Vera says that's not a problem. He consistently trains hard in the fourth and fifth round. He is happy to be in deep water. He wants to get taken into the deep end and see what kind of metal he's really got. It's been all standing so far. We haven't gone to the ground. On the ground, Vera has one sub. Ola has 12 submissions. Five guillotines, five arm bars included. Yeah, Michael, I don't know if this is going to go to the ground. I think these guys want to put on a show and they're looking for a knockdown. Just a slip there for Ongla. Overhand right. He can't afford to get sloppy. Because I believe Vera beats him for speed and precision. Outside leg kick to that common perennial nerve. Just above the lead knee from Ongla. Every time Brandon's an orthodox, Ongla's son is touching that lead leg. You can see a beautiful check there. You see the Bay Bay in Filipino writing on the back of Brandon Vera. Inside leg there from Ongla. 
Got to watch that drift away lead hooker, Brandon Vera. That's what he knocked out now, was so really win. What's the gas tank like of Brandon Vera at light heavyweight in the second round? Round kick from Vera. He's starting to move beautifully good. Roundhouse kick to a straight left hand there, landed by Vera. Milan Sunson's unfazed by the power. He's wearing these punches very well. Oh, no, it's a stiff left hand from Brandon. And can she just get forward, swings the legs again. And with a big leg kick, you can see Brandon starting to get a little bit wobbly. I don't know if he's going to hurt him, though. Oh, the leg kick. That lead leg in four has taken tremendous punishment. Body shot from all right. Got to be careful, that trips away, Hulk. Brandon Vera was starting to wobble just ever so slightly, but then look at the spinny back elbow connects to the side of the head. Brandon Vera thought about answering with one of his own. He crumbles to the ground and Unlock jumps all, all over him. And he just starts landing big punches. Look at the left hand. Olivier Cost was forced to call a halt to the action because Unlock was just letting it go. Hurt him with a big knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, double-digit unanswered punches. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has pulled a stop to this contest after three minutes and 23 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of technical knockout and still one light heavyweight world champion Ola Amazing scenes here in Tokyo. An amazing performance from online side. You cosmic kite, where did you come from? Myanmar's national hero, their national treasure, their only world champion of anything, and still world champion in the middleweight and light heavyweight divisions. The rain of gold that has showered over Oblan Sun so many times. A more humble athlete you won't find. A more gracious human being you won't find. A more inspirational champion you will not find. He carries the hopes and the dreams of an entire nation.
Tokyo, I am here with your champion and still the one light heavyweight world champion and one middleweight world champion. How do you feel after an epic performance? That was fun. Hey, Tokyo Arigato, thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I feel, I feel good. Um, just ready to get back in the gym and get some work in, clean up some technique. But thank you guys, man. I've been fighting since I was 19 years old. I'm 34 now. Thank you guys. The technique looked pretty good. You were landing the leg kicks. He was hurting you with the elbows. You suffered a little bit of damage there, but you wore it very well. What was the strategy going into the, with this one? Our strategy was to keep pressure on him, keep it in his face, you know, block what he throws. I know he has a lot of power, you know, and you can see he's got good elbows. So I got to make sure everything is tight. Um, so, but I got the job done. Um, thank you guys so much. Final words. Love you guys. Hey, me and my fans. Jesus, me had the matter. How long? You guys made me who I am. I want to thank God. I want to thank my father here right now. Without them, I wouldn't be the man that I am. And thank you to my teammates here. My trainer, Henry Hoof, Coach Greg, Tommy Barzini, Corey Peacock. Thank you guys. I would never be this good without you guys. Thank you. Me and Mar, stand up!